Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. This is the series of the videos in which I have explained the basic concept of the math which the student of year 11 should know when he start year 11 in all examination boards. So in the earlier video, I have explained two questions which were about the highest common factor of the terms which have letters in it. And I explained the type of percentage question in which percentage is increasing twice and exact number is not given, the original value is not given rather. And the link of that video is given in the description. So now in this video, I will explain here two or three questions more. Let's see how long the video goes. Okay, so this question is about changing recurring decimal numbers into fraction. Okay, recurring decimal places. Now you must know what is the meaning of recurring decimal places. Whenever you write a pattern, for example, if I write like this, this is a recurring. If I write, for example, 0 0.6666 and go on, this is recurring. So similarly, if number is given 0 0.18 and there is dot on top of it, what does it mean? It means the number is something like this. So whenever you are changing such, um, such recurring decimals into fraction, you know what is the key behind it? that you have to change this number in a manner so that after decimal you have same digits right now after decimal i don't have and before decimal you have an integer this is the technique so i will work around the concept keeping this in my mind that before decimal i should have a integer maybe one digit two digit three digit but after that i have same digits and i have to generate two such numbers so let's see how will how i will start so first of all i will say okay let's suppose x is equals to 0 0.188888 after this uh, assumption uh, assumption what i will do now i will multiply it by 10x and 100x now why i'm doing this always think about why then you will understand it better okay so now when i multiply this or this by 10 what will happen decimal will move just to one place so i will have 1.88888 so after decimal i have all same digits because the recurring has only eights afterwards then i'm multiplying it by 100 right and you always multiply by 10 100 thousand things like this okay you do not multiply by 2 3 4 it is always multiplying by 10 or by 100 or by 1000 things like this i have made another video on this with different concept you will see the link of that in the description which has different recurring decimal which i'm changing into fraction okay anyway so when i'm multiplying by 100x uh, sorry 100 what will happen this decimal will jump two places to the right you know how to change decimal into um, another number when multiply by 10 100 and 1000 so now when I multiply by 100, this decimal will go here. So I got 18.88888. Now this is the key I was talking about. After decimal, the digits are same. When digits are same, in two different numbers I have generated here, now I can subtract them. I can subtract them. See here. So 100x minus 10x okay this minus this so 100x minus 10x is equals to this minus this now 100 minus 10 i think all of you know what is 100 minus x 90 and when i will subtract these two what will happen 18 minus 1 will be 17 and the decimals after de uh, sorry digits after decimal will all subtract so what it will become now 90x minus 17 and then after algebra, I mean cross multiplication, you know x is equals to 17 divided by 90. Right? So this is how you change your recurring decimals into fractions. Now here, use your calculator because there is a, in certain board, they give a question where they have to use the calculator because it is very important how to use a calculator. Mostly these type of questions are done in one go. Right? So I'm just telling you which button you will press. So first of all, you will press the button square root. 
after that you will press a button one then minus then there is a button parenthesis or brackets press that then it will be sign then it will be 33 then bracket close and then square root and then enter right so you will get the answer and mostly questions are left in three significant figure i have just done here to show you otherwise you don't need to do stepwise you need to do it directly and give your answer in the final three significant form so if this number or this answer which is more than this i have to change into three significant figure i will just see the digit at the fourth place in this case if it is five or more than five then this number will increase by one sorry this number carrying this digit will increase by one so it will be 0 0.839 okay and it's better you write in the bracket 3sf which means three significant figure okay so now let's see the next question one more uh, that is lo long question so let me just uh, stop this video here and i'll make the next video in which i will explain this question trigonometry so thank you very much for watching the video Please press like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Take care. Allah Hafiz.